All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Cold Cast. This is a Scrimcast Live, and, well, I'm your casting host, Beef. Joining me today is going to be Porch from D-O-N-D, the most recently eliminated team from the Diamond Division, dropping to some really unknown teams up there. And Porch, how you doing? I'm doing a lot worse now. Uh, I just, my heart sank when you said that. <laughs> hey, I, I got to watch some of those replays. You guys actually did a lot better than I expected. Yeah, it was, you know, TDM and COL, a bunch of nobodies, pretty much. Um, you know, we shouldn't have lost those games, really, looking back. <laughs> um, but, uh, no, the first, you know, eight, ten minutes, it, it, it was looking fairly even, and then they just dropped that big hammer. They dropped and, uh, that big hammer, indeed. Well, Porch, I'm going to let you talk about this draft for about uh, two minutes. i got to go take care of something real quick, and then I will be right back. So, guys, right. have fun listening to Porch talk about the draft. Okay, so while he's dropping a hammer, um, you know, just taking a look at the draft here. Uh, some some pretty interesting bands, to be honest. Uh, we're looking at Wild Soul and Parasite, um, you know, average for the Hellborn side. But on the Legion side, you got Zephyr Aluna. Um you know, not not quite sure. There's a lot of support options outside of Aluna, and she usually can make it through the lock phase without even being locked, so you can waste a ban later on it. Um, but Lynette must have something up their sleeve. They don't want to deal with that. And then into the lock picking stage, first lock was Andromeda, which we actually don't see a whole lot because of the range um, and, and sort of... Uh, there's a lot more viable options you can use with the same stun. Um... And, you know, the swap, she's kind of, you know, the swap is really great against mirrors like Tempest, but it dies relatively easy. So, it, you know, uh, hopefully we'll see some good drama to play this game because it can be, you know, pretty game-breaking if he gets it off right. Uh, Bombardier Devo at, uh, coming out from the Hellborn as a counter. And Nymphora Tempest and Ophelia to finish out the lock. Um... I really hope we can see some big Devo play, uh, either in the tri-lane or a, a dual mid with that Nymphora uh, looking combo there, as well as Bombardier has been a, a big thing for QSQ and, and Trialf as a late. Um, so that's also a great possibility, but we got a lot of good junglers and uh, other heroes in the lock. And Silhouette picking up for the Legion side. Um, which, I mean, they got rid of Moon Queen, got rid of Zephyr, probably the best carry left. Um, you still have TDL and Dragon for the Hellborn side, so it's nothing too big. But the counter picks by Hellborn are, <laughs> are really good. Uh, picking up Fade Pebbles, who somehow made it through the lock stage, um, a lot, with, made through the ban phase without either of them being locked, which is pretty uncommon. Um, looking at the locks, NG, uh, Moon Queen, uh, what is this, Zephyr, Bubbles, Hag, um, Jeraziah, Tree. So, I mean, pretty standard locks, getting rid of some carries, the jungles, and, uh, sounds like Beef is back and I can have a conversation partner. Hey, Porch, what's going on? Yo, talking to myself is so lonely. So um, like now you understand how I feel when you're not here. I know. I I don't know how you do it. You fill the conversation, but um. Okay. You know, so as you're coming back here, you know, Devo got, in the lock pool. That is a good question, and I'm hoping we see why. Um, it was locked out by Hellborn side, but they picked up Fade Pebbles, so I'm not actually sure they're gonna run it. Um, I don't think it was a troll lock. I think it was meant to see if they could you know, work something out, but it doesn't look like they'll be able to use it. Um, mm. But somehow Fade and Pebbles made it through the entire ban stage without neither of them being banned. Yeah. Uh, like valuing more getting rid of uh, Moon Queen, Engineer, Jerzaya. Um So QSQ's team looks kind of stupidly good right now. Yeah, just starting there looks really pretty scary. Um, I've gotten that combo before just because I I locked it after someone locked like a hero they valued high. But well, here's the deal: because QSQ is either going to get 
Bombardier, Tempest, Nymphora. They're going to get two out of those three to round out this team, possibly. Yeah. And then they're just going to kill everything. Yeah, no. Well, there goes the Tempest, so, so uh, I'm thinking... They might run Ophelia now. Bombardier, Ophelia? They also might run Nymphora. Not not entirely sure. Um, <clears throat> if they run Nymphora and do the 1-2-2 uh, the two, two strategy, they're just going to absolutely crap all over this Tempest and Silhouette. Um, yeah, they can so, definitely pick up an aggressive aggressive lanes here and make it hard for the, the Tempest as well by a good roam. Yeah, I, I think I would actually prefer the Nymphora over the Ophelia, but at the same time, that's we've talked about this in the past, if you do go without a jungler against a jungler, you're kind of going all in. You, you have to win your lanes and know that if you don't dominate at least uh, two of those lanes, that you're going to be falling behind in terms of golden experience. Exactly, and Tempest, one of the heroes said, it's the fastest jungler. Like It's just it, so there we go, Bombardier Ophelia. Bam, I called it. There you go, you got it. Okay, so that's a little bit more safe, um, but they do add some pushing potential there, and of course Ophelia is still with the gank potential. Now, on the other side, we got 37 seconds for Lions to pick their last pick. Are they going to go Devo? I don't think so. I think they need a support. <laughs> Unless they play support Devo. Which, oh, uh, that'd be sick. I would. Be I would be. Huge. I would be friends with Seal Kid again if. Uh, if Let's see that electrician grip or the Pharaoh wall into a Jeez. to hold them up for a Devo hook. Jeez. <laughs> but no, they do go Andro, so going with the short range support here. Yeah, I was actually talking about her a bit earlier. I probably would have preferred to see Nymph, um, just kind of power the electrician around. Um, but Andrew is still like a really viable pickup. Um, we just haven't seen in a while because the range makes it really difficult to lane it, and she doesn't, you know, fare terribly well outside of the tri lane meta. Yeah, it, it's because of that range a lot right there. Like you said, I mean, she's not going to be able to harass one on one versus somebody like this Glacius. So it's going to be very interesting how the lanes actually come up here, and uh, what exactly they're going to be doing as. Yeah, I think that what we're going to be doing here is they had mentioned that somebody wasn't going to be around until... I think it was Nox. Nox. Nox wasn't around until seven minutes from now. So they were going to go ahead and do the draft and then remake real quick. So you guys got to see the draft this time. There you go. How lucky do you feel? They, they should feel very lucky. Now, Porch, I need to talk to you a little bit. Oh, I was, no. I was going through the Sound Blaster today. And I'm looking at these teams. Wait, what? I was, I was looking at the teams that are going to be playing in Sound Blaster Heroes League qualifier number four this week. Oh. <laughs> and I was looking and I'm like, man, I'm really looking forward to casting Porch. Oh, wait. All I've got to say is I've got some, like, slackers on my team. They just, I don't know. I'm like, hey, go sign up. And they're like, yeah, I'm going to go sign up. And then they don't sign up. Wow. Well, Porch, I'm afraid to tell you that uh, signups have ended for that because it was actually supposed to end like four days ago. Yeah. Um, I joined for the fifth qualifier. I got yeah. everything already. It's like a week okay. ahead. I'm That's good. Sitting pretty. Well, you better win. That's my goal. Because there's only five, six, and seven. <laughs> qualifier there's number eight is, is not, it's, it's not it's, there. It's going to be doing something else this time. I don't yeah. know. If, I don't know if I can talk about that yet. Actually. Oh. I'm, I'm thinking it's the Invitational right about then. Huh? Just, just gonna guess it's the Invitational right about then. Qualifier eight. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. But um. The Southeast Asia Invitational. Maybe. Is that what you're talking about? I don't know. I'm just shooting words out and seeing if you bite. Oh, okay. Give me a little. Give me a little hint. I, I actually don't know what you're talking about, though. Like, that's the problem. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm trying to find out how we can get back in this game now. And, uh, well, it looks like they did invite me already. I'm just on D&D, &D, so I don't actually receive invites. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, so, I think we're just waiting on Nox. Let me confirm here. Waiting on Nox. Uh, well, that was in the wrong chat.
Yes, so we are just waiting on Knox in this game. And uh, I was told that he will be here in about three minutes. Three or four minutes. So, just going to be go ahead and waiting on that. And so, Porch, what are your plans for the day? Are you going to be sticking around casting with me, like, literally all day long? All day? Um, I've got some piano in, like, two hours. But other Wait, than hold that, on a second. You play the guitar and you play the piano? And I sing. Amazing. Wow! Can you teach me how to sing and play the guitar? Yes. Because I, I personally think that I've got excellent voice control. I think you definitely have good diaphragm and um Wait, you're controlling can you teach me can you teach me how to, to speak from the diaphragm instead of the throat? Yeah. Can you teach it's... me how to maintain my voice? Like make sure it doesn't die? Yeah. Cause wow, I think porch. you need it with your like ten hour day casts. Wow, ten hours is pretty conservative. <laughs> <laughs> that's conservative. Oh my gosh. Hey, I've had seventeen hour days before. That's that's my longest thus far. But um well yeah, you and I are just gonna have to talk a little bit. By the way, did you receive that Skype message that I sent you like last weekend when I uh, I posted the command for the auto skip pause? Yeah, I actually did. Okay. I 100% did. Great. Because I was watching um, the COL replay with my team to go over it, and I skipped a pause and nobody else did, and I've, I knew how you felt. I was I was like, I was upset at everyone else. Yeah, you just got to be mad at literally everyone. It's, it's almost like interrupting a new egg commercial. Like, you just don't do that. It's not okay. Wait, did I do that? Yeah, you did. I did that. Yeah, you did. Porch, do you have a Twitter yet? Um, I do, kind of. Yeah. Um, do I need to give it to you? I don't. It's it's just I just did a Dobron Damp one at mm. Dobron Damp because I didn't want to. I didn't want to make one. No, I see. I was just wondering because I was just gonna. Send out a tweet right now, and I was like, I wonder if Porch has a Twitter. It appears that you do. Yeah, so, Porch, we might have to, like... You need to go over technology with me. I'm not... I don't... I don't use, okay. like, Twitter. So, I use Facebook. Okay. I, I can tell you how to Facebook, because you, you want to know, but... Yeah, we well, we tried to help me figure out Facebook last weekend, and I eventually just gave up. It was... Ugh. Ugh. But, uh, yeah, uh, okay, I'm going to teach you about social media, and you're going to teach me about all this stuff regarding my voice and guitar. Yeah, I'll teach you all the music stuff. There you go. I was just doing a vocal lesson with a um, really, really strong opera teacher. Um, that... Oh, I thought you were giving the lesson. I was like, no. oh, wow, you were just very impressive. No, and I was hitting, uh, I don't know how much you know about music, but I hit the high B flat and. That's high tenor note for a male? Yeah, I, I'd hit the high C. You can hit the high C? Yeah. In your full voice, not falsetto. Well, I was more talking about the juice, but... Oh, you son of a... <laughs> I was like, no way, your voice is like an octave lower than mine when you talk. I would have been impressed. I'm pretty you sure I could... You would have been could... like Brent Smith from Shinedown right there. No, I, I'm pretty sure that I could hit like a, like a mid-A... <laughs> yeah, you pro you probably talk about a mid A. Ah, oh, it's pretty impressive, I know. <laughs> oh my gosh! No, I have literally no clue what I'm talking about. I just assume that the deeper into the alphabet you go, the higher the pitch. Yeah, it's a, the musical alphabet is A through um, G. G. Yeah, knew that. Played guitar. Um, and so. I hit that G it, it starts over after you hit G. And then there's a number of octaves. And, yeah. And so depending on where your voice lies within that range, you may be a tenor or a baritone or a bass. And you sound like a pretty awesome baritone. You got that nice full mid-range. Wow, that's, that's actually the best compliment I think I've ever received. You're welcome. Porch, thank you. <laughs> I'm now pretty sure that you're not going to kill me 
if we do hang out in like a week from now. Dude, I'm going down. I think I have a team now. I've been like whoa, whoa, kinda whoa, whoa, talking whoa, whoa, to people. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought I was part of your team. I thought I was your right hand man. Yeah. I think you're part of it. Oh. oh okay. I, I'm, like, I'm not even sure. People don't communicate. It's it's frustrating. But Zatron wants to play with us, and me, Doberman, and you. I need one more player, and I've been kind of talking to people, and they're you unsure. Could, you could talk to Lalonde. I'm not, yeah, I think he was talking about going out. I was talking to him, but then he's like, well, I got Queen Moon with me. And I'm like, okay, oh. cool. And then I was talking to Cakes, and Cakes is like, well, I, I might have told someone else I'm doing it, but I don't know. And I'm like, well, that doesn't help me. You should know. What about Mikey's? Um, Mikey's, by the way, they disbanded Vitriolic? Yeah, like, I, I saw that they're not tagged up as Vitriolic anymore. Um, I don't see them on, uh, on Hauntor. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do some investigation real quick. All right, I'm gonna. Oh, either that or Mikey's just left because that's what I show. I show three people on vitriolic and not Mikey's. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some investigation here in a second. Hunter.com. All right, here we go. Investigation time. We're gonna go to events. I'm gonna go to current event. We're gonna click on vitriolic, and yeah. Mikey's is no longer on Vitriolic. Let's let's check a look here. Mikey's. Um, he is on T A E Y. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I, I think it's just a friendly is. clan. I would assume. Tain Galicious. Interesting. Well, yeah, it, it appears that Mikey's is no longer a part of Vitriolic Gaming, which is interesting, because from what I understood, that was, like, his team. Like, it was a sponsorship that he carried over from CS or something. But, interesting, interesting. Guys, for those of you just joining us, um, basically what happened is we are waiting for this game to get started here. As you can see, we do have Lions versus QSQ. We already went through the draft a little bit earlier um, because Knox was not going to be able to be here right away. They went ahead and got the game started, did the draft, and then Knox should be here within the next couple of minutes. And then we're going to be going on into it. And uh, well, do you remember the draft? Are they going to remember the draft? I remember the draft. If they don't, I can tell them. Okay, Porch, let's do it right here. All ten heroes. All right, Legion side. Is Tempest? You don't, you don't know. No, Tempest, no, Pharaoh, know. Electrician, Solid, Andro, and what's that hero? Silhouette. All right, hold on. Let's try that one more time. Say it one more time. Legion, Tempest, Pharaoh, Electrician, Silhouette, and Andromeda. Wow, backward. Backward. No. And right side was. Right side, not Hellborn. <laughs> right side. <laughs> Well, because I'm using my hand, it says visual cues. There you go. And that's right hand. So we got uh, Pebbles, Fade, Glacius, Bombardier, and Ophelia. Wow, that's actually... I'm 100%. I, you know what? I, I am 100% agreeing with you that, uh, that that is what is going on there. But that's still impressive. I have a pretty good memory. That's... You obviously do. It helps me in guitar, because I have a like a visual relationship with what I'm playing so I memorize well, it certainly wouldn't be a physical I... relationship oh well, yes it's everything it's my other half do you play electric guitar or do you play like classical acoustic guitar or what uh both both um I write a lot of I write some rock music for my own stuff but then I play classical in uh, academic sense because you're not allowed to major in rock. I found that out. Yeah, I in case anyone was wondering, it's not a major. I, you my, can go to LA and go to some schools and um, sort of major in popular music, but you still need to know classical. So it doesn't even matter. Interesting. Interesting. Well, guys, uh, it looks like Knox is here. Nova had mentioned that he was going to be restarting his computer. And so it looks like we're just waiting for no Nova to actually reconnect right now. 
and then we're going to get this game started. And it actually looks like we're going to be getting into it right about now. But uh, while you're waiting, I would highly recommend going over to ComplexityGaming.com. And as you can see coming through our cool rotator right here, uh, well, we did actually put out the fourth invite. Sound Blaster did announce the fourth invite today into the Sound Blaster Heroes League. And it is Q-Squad 357. So congrats to Nova and the boys. You can head over to ComplexityGaming.com and uh, check out the Sound Blaster invite. All the information about the teams here and the previous invites. you got Complexity Gaming, Trademark, and Stay Green. They're going to be joined by, uh, let's see, One Trick Pony, Dendy's Jungle Devos, and uh, Mistral, formerly Druids. Formerly N9. Formerly N9. Yep, formerly Druids Omega and Druids Epsilon. Um, formerly, formerly. So you can go ahead and check that out, guys. Read all about that. And everyone is here now. And looks like we're going to be getting into it very quickly. Uh, Super KGE is sitting back down. R, R, sec. Okay. Not quite ready. Uh, Nova can't figure out his sound, unfortunately. What the hell is that noise, Porch? Oh, uh, should I turn that down? I don't know what that is. Yeah. It's Halo. Yeah, if we could turn it down. Is that good? That. Is that good? Yeah, it's more reasonable. Did you hear exploding? Guys, sorry, we're we're trying to make Porch a little bit more civilized here. It's difficult. I know. I live in my own filth or something like that, you told me once. I don't think I said anything like that, actually. It was something about Magmus and blinking in the fountain and yeah, I no, swim when in Magmus, my own filth. No, okay. That wasn't you because you don't play Magmus because you're a lowly support. But I yes, play Magmus. You, you do not play Magmus. I promise. No, my you Mag. Do not. Okay, we can hold one on. v one after this. Anyways, Mag? continue your story. One v one. One v one Mag. Just saying, it's one right of my now. top played. It's in one of both my top public played. and normal. It's one of my top played and only public because I only play public. But one v one Magmus, we're doing this All right. thing. All right. We are doing this thing. Okay. Um. Yeah, the match is going to start here pretty soon. Like in the middle By of the By pretty song, soon, we mean like. Headset stopped working. And like, we're just trying to wait on Nova to fix his sound. Like, he's having, uh, he's having some serious issues with his sound. Which is really unfortunate because, well, you kind of need that to communicate with your team. But back to Magmus. When a Magmus goes to ult, especially with a portal key. But then he fails to use the portal key, whether it gets deactivated or he misses the portal key or he misses his stun and doesn't hit anybody with it. That's called ulting in your own filth. Is that a term you coined or that is, actually is it a, a popular term, term? That is actually a term that my good buddy Jockstrap actually coined about two years ago. And See, I have since, well, I was like two, maybe that was three years ago. See, now I'm worried about meeting you. You have friends named Jockstrap. Well, it wasn't like just like the uh, the article of sportswear. It was actually spelled Jock, like the French name. Oh, so it's a pun. Very yeah, punny it, of him. It, it, was, it was pretty punny. Pretty punny. And Nova says two minutes ready. So I guess he's given himself two minutes to try to get this figured out. And then we're going to be going on into this game. So Porch, all right. You guys finished in what ninth through twelfth place in diamond. Yes, aka we limped through. <laughs> you barely crossed the finish line with enough velocity to break the ribbon. But uh, well, you're not going to be demoted out of diamond. And uh, who are you hoping that you're not going to face in the first round next time? <laughs> um, TDM again. Like that would be that would be ideal. That would be pretty fun if we didn't have to do that, and or stay green, or complexity. Like, uh, be quite honest. Uh, as much as, you know, I think we can do some things to try to fight back. Their teamwork is really just superb. It's they are difficult <laughs> teams to take a game from, let alone take a series. Um, as pencils found out, as <laughs> you know, uh, and I gaming every found out. Team in QSQ, last, like. like yeah. Five months has found out? Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. So as a support player yourself, 
TDM yes. has recently dropped Insania, and you got to play against them this weekend when they were using Fitzky. How do you yes. think that's worked out? Um, I think it seems to really fit their personality more. I know Fitzky has played with um, some house. of their members in the past and, yeah. uh, you know, has good, you know, teamwork with them. Uh, when we played against them, I mean, I don't think Fitzky did anything that Insania wouldn't have. Mm -hmm. Um, but usually if, if you had a whole team of players thinking, Hey, you know, I think we'd rather have this guy, you know, not for any special reason, like other than, you know, communicating better is what it seemed like. Uh, it was more of a big deal about their, their communication and internal problems. Then I, you know, I think every team's got to do that. Like if it's going to make you communicate better or like play better for any reason, uh, you got to do it. Yeah. So I'm personally a big fan of Fitzy, but uh, well, Aiden, very, very capable support player, and looks like we're going to go ahead and get on into this game. Do, 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 do. Change the overlay, unmute on. There you go. Porch was not incorrect with these lineups. Just going to be waiting Pick that fade, on Knox. fade. And there it is. So. Let's get on to it. Nox is actually going to be playing Fade. Um, I've seen this before. They've ran Fade in the solo short lane, and I've actually seen Nox win a 1v2 with Fade, which is... Really? Yes. Versus who? Uh, Do you this, remember? I don't remember. This was like three months ago. Oh, okay. Um, That's a hard lane to win. But yeah, he got ganks. I, he was, I want to say he had an Ophelia um, that was actually going to be safe lane jungling with him. Mm -hmm. um, which, well, that's actually a possibility right here. They could run the Glacius Pebbles long lane, Bombardier mid, fade short with the Ophelia in the jungle. And you know what? I think they actually almost replicated the lineup that I remember them running there. I would prefer to see the bomb top and the fade mid, but... Wait, 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 wait what? Like, no. if your same lineup, um, you know, the dual lane bottom... Oh, hold on a second. But I... Yes, dual lane long. And yeah. I might have said that wrong. And then if bomb was top and fade was mid, I think I would prefer that a little more. Um, which really? it looks like what they're doing against a yeah. suicide pharaoh. I would rather see the the fade top. Um. Well. Or if or they're a suicide actually suicide electrician. electrician. Either one. Um, it's more about yeah. Mid's gonna be solo. They're gonna dual bottom to stop the pebbles. Dual bottom. Like they they can't just leave silhouette down there. So either way, he was against a solo. And I just like fade in the middle, the ability to get runes and make... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, I agree. If it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one in either location, I completely agree with you that uh, I do prefer fade in the middle. I just thought that the uh, there was going to be a 2v1 oh, they're switching there it. in the mid. But, uh, they're sending pebbles, man. As we got to pause. What? And I can't skip it. Why are they sending pebbles mid? Now, uh, I feel like fade, Glacius, I mean, they're going to do well... But I think that you were right that Fade does just have a little bit better time with those runes. Yeah, Pebbles, you know, can do you know very well with runes, but I, I, Fade is more, in my opinion, more level dependent. You'll see more often um, a Pebbles dual laned to get an early port key than Fade, because um, like the damage on Fade it needs to scale very quickly. Like she needs to get moving. Yeah, she definitely does. I actually played Fade in a TMM yesterday, and I started out the game 5-0 and 11, and I was very pleased with myself. <laughs> yeah. Because I do not play mid very often, and I actually crushed that other 1700. So. Yeah, and that always a good feeling. When it you're is. Like, but I then, never do this, but bam, but in then, your face. But then my team just like completely failed. Like literally fed like every every other lane we lost like every team fight past 20 minutes into the game and we lost did you get that early port key yeah i got a port i had portal key striders bottle grave lock at 14 minutes so you had striders you should have gone phase no no i mean yeah maybe but i went early striders because <laughs> i got an early uh bloodlust and went striders bottle like right away yeah at like five minutes See, I was dominating with the Fade another game. Uh, it was actually versus, like, Swindle in some of them. And then I went Striders, and we lost. Mm. So, 
I I have the full blame on Striders if you lost that game. Sad times. Sad times. So Silhouette is going to be bottom. They're not going to be manning up like you thought down there with the dual lane. And Funzmeister, he's going to have uh, he's going to have his work cut out for him going up against this really really aggressive pseudo tri lane here. Ophelia, as soon as she has Minotaurs or Skeleton Kings and uh, probably level three, is going to be coming over to put out the hurt on the Silhouette. And Funzmeister is going to have. He's going to have a really rough time down here, but doing okay so far. Yeah, and I think the reason they did that, which is really smart, is they saw that they were going to have the tri-lane bottom with Ophelia, and there's no point to dual lane for a set. They're not going to win. They're not going to survive. Um, so send, you know, Andrew to another lane. Uh, top is an easy one because, oh, yeah. well, Top's look at him now. One. Yeah. Oh, not able to get the stun off. Seal Kid. You can yell at him about that at Twitter.com. Yeah, that that should have oh, been a kill. Hold on like, a second. Like, Everybody go over to twitter.com slash sealkid1 right now and let sealkid know how displeased you are with his lack of hitting that stun. <laughs> sealkid, good buddy. But oh, uh, yeah, you should go over there. And of course, check out Nova at support Nova, S U P P O R T T, double T's in support Nova. You can follow him. Doesn't as well. support Nova sound like a. Uh, like, um... Like car support line or something like that. Call us at Support Nova for your, all your. Well, isn't a Nova like a Chevy Nova, right? Yeah. Yeah, I got you. Oh, Bombardier's in trouble now. Silkid does land the stun this time and the sick body blocks. Style not quite able to eat that second tree. Is able to get away and Electrician just was not there. He was off farming, which I think was probably the smart idea. He would have been yeah. a lot of farm well there. But, uh, the lane was pushed, and he did a good job not running into a tower, too. He just kind of, you know, walk in circles so he doesn't push back all the way. It's still going to push because he hasn't killed the, the range, though. There's too many range. There is too many range, indeed. And, uh, well... Let's take a look here. Now, as we're looking at the farm here, I think, like, the... The Legion side has a pretty nice advantage, like, starting off. Uh, the Tempest, of course, like I said, the fastest jungler. Um, the Pharaoh's doing well middle. Uh, they're pretty even between him and Pebbles. Um, but Ophelia's not really farming all too well right now. I guess she's looking for a gang spot him or something. Yeah, I, I think that she has been looking for ganks, but like you said, level two. Um, really not good farm at all. In fact, Pharaoh, well, nice well bust up top style. Way back deep in there, Hanskin and Seal Kid combining to actually get that kill. Yeah, it's unfortunate for him. I, there's not much he can do up top. Um, Bomb doesn't have an escape mechanism. They have the lane pulled all the way back. They have their tri lane. Mm -hmm. Like, Man. he's Pebbles, in a lot of trouble. Being Pebbles up there. is actually going to have to be careful here as he does not have any vision up that hill and he's already playing back pretty far here. But as soon as Seal Kid starts to come in, gonna have to make sure that he doesn't get spotted out by that courier though. Ooh, enough to go right now. Nope. Um Ooh, and the He's courier. way over mid. No, they're not going in. Interesting. Alright, and so you got Ophelia moving back to try to help top and take control of their jungle. But I think even he's gonna have a difficult time with Oh, yeah. Ooh. He's actually going to be right in a ton here. of trouble he's right here. There's the Aurora. The Comet Sun comes out. Invisible Pharaoh activates the Hellfire, and Hans can bring home the kill. They're going to try to get the Minotaur as well. Uh, I don't think they're going to, though. No. Minotaur will walk away. So, Lions, um, that offensive Tempest. What do you think about having a Tempest in your opponent's jungle? Um, You have to build the lanes for it. Like, right now, they have their tri lane top. If Tempest is in trouble, number one, you've got this little andro following him around but um electrician can move from the lane and the other team doesn't really have a way to move to stop you like um bombardier can't really do anything um ophelia is trying to move in but it's still not enough it's it's still gonna be a 3v2 as the they're going lane, on mid here too the glacial blast comet sun comes out hellfire activated there's the wall flagman's not hitting anything and that was actually a sick wall uh pulled him back so the stalagmites did Actually, whiff a little bit there, but well, once again, great rotation coming out of the Lions Roamers. 
Yeah, it was that was a good play. I mean, even up to moving slightly back so the wall pulled him away from where he was trying to go. Um, and as we see Glacius start to roam top, they're going to challenge the trial lane because they know they, they've lost that top. Um, and leave Fate here versus Silhouette, who's not has not been able to Andrew farm right. trouble. Drops the Comet's done there. There's the Ice Imprisonment, though. The Skeleton King already been used. Auto attacks are all they have here. There's the Ophelia's Judgment, but Electrician's going to come back in after the Wrath of the Pharaoh here. Glacius will go down. And now Ophelia going to be the one in trouble. Jonas and Fan is there, though. And it looks like it's going to be a one-for-one -one exchange. Trading support for support. Yep. Which, I mean... Good trade, like good job getting there. Uh, but I feel Legion side is still even getting the edge out of these interactions. Lines yeah, looking I, really I, strong here. I agree. Legion is uh, they're doing phenomenally right now. And keep in mind, this is a scrim, and you know scrims they're places where people like to try out new things. As Fade's actually going to go on to silhouette in the bottom lane. Doing a lot of damage. Will fall back just before being able to kill. And Tempest is actually coming over. Does have the elemental void and glacial blasts. And as Fade comes in right here, there's the glacial blast going to be coming out. He's got it. A rocket comes in as well. There's the elemental void. And the tree grapple goes out. Fade does take the tree grapple and, well, turning it around with the burning shadows. Oh so my. it will go down. Wow. And in the top lane. Looks like there was a kill once more. Seal kit drops, but then Style takes the fall. Nova's going to be in some trouble as well, but he will escape at least for now. And uh, turning around with the Ice Imprisonment on to Krebson. Skeleton King goes down in favor of the Electrician as well. But uh, good play there in the bottom lane by Knox, making sure that Flensmeister paid for it, even though he was going to get the kill. Yeah, I think that was more of a mistake by Flensmeister, really not getting the stun off in time and, and just finishing that. Um, uh, just, I guess, really unfortunate, but really well spammed by well, Nox, you know? No, the, the stun went off. The stun had already expired at that point. Oh, it's in the top lane. The grip going out in the comment on the Glacius. Nova takes his second death of the game. Bombardier going to walk away with the sticky bomb on his... Or excuse me, Electrician walking away with the sticky bomb on his head. But yeah, they just didn't have enough damage to kill him inside of those those three stuns. Alright, maybe I'm wrong, but I, I think he should have had the damage, I mean, with the the Death Lotus and all. But it seemed like he didn't level do one the combo. Death Lotus, like though? he got stunned. He was only level, level two. No, was level he was two. level three. I'm telling you. Wait, he, what? He was level three in total. No way. Yes. We're going back and watching it. I bet you a billion dollars. I'm not betting. Because I'll see you in like a week and... Because you don't have any confidence. You said you're bigger than me, so... Well, yeah. I'm I afraid. That, I think that that's obvious, but... <laughs> and fake bottom going on, lane, silhouette yeah. your bottom. And silhouette definitely in some trouble. She does go down. Gonna hit the ground with that... Ch that, uh... What the hell is that that's stuck in the tree? Grapple? The tr there's a grapple in the tree? Yeah, tree grapple. <laughs> I don't know. That's what tree grapples are. Yeah, Bombardier still holding his own up here, and 160 gold per minute. Okay, not really holding. Those are going on fade bottom. Yeah, Nox is in some serious trouble here, and uh, well, gets the burning shadows off. Gonna survive for now. Eventually goes down though. Super KGE picks up that last hit, and Lions up eight to four, and they are actually doing a very good job of holding down their lanes. Style. I mean, I said he was holding his own up top. Um. I just meant that he wasn't feeding uncontrollably. Because he's, he's farming at 160 gold per minute, which is not awful. Um, against 1v3, I mean, it's actually pretty decent. Yeah, no, he's definitely doing better in Silhouette right now. Uh, which is pretty much all they can ask for. Uh, is to go on him right now, actually. No. I lied. Why you gotta lie to me, Porch? I, I had a miss... Uh, a misread in my brain. I saw Nova and I thought it was Legion side. Yeah. Hmm. Is would you say that Nova is your greatest inspiration as a support? Um, no. Just because I don't know Nova, I don't talk to Nova. You don't have to talk to Nova to be inspired by his support. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, Porch. 
I don't know. Maybe. Oh, know. that's really unfortunate. He Did put he not get that counter word? word just to the like. If if I could draw a little line. Oh, Tempest in trouble in the bottom lane, but they're at the Pharaoh. Is there? There's the Bombardier going to clean up Tempest and Faith. Will he be able to escape? Drops the deep shadows. So actually going to be able to escape for now. Activated the health potion. <laughs> Gets interrupted. But uh, okay, going to be able to get out. Nox, what are you doing? You're getting real ballsy down there. The guy has balls. He does indeed have balls. And, okay, so let me take a look at Fade's build here. Um, yeah, she did drop a point in Deep Shadows there at the end as well. Pharaoh could be in some trouble. Double damage. Pebble's going to be coming in. There's the Deep Shadows. Burning Shadows goes out as well. The Cull. Fade going to try to escape, but there's the Glacial Blast coming out onto him. The auto attack should be enough here. Fade will go down. Pharaoh went down to Yonis and Fan as well and pebbles might be looking to turn this one around flag might's up in five seconds there's the lockdown and the slow onto tempest elementals being summoned it's glacial blast going out as well and this could turn into a big fight but it looks like the hellborn team going to retreat not confident in their positioning see i don't really like noxus build um not for the fact that he put a deep shadows in because that gives you you know vision when you throw it in the woods which you know he needed there um but I prefer I prefer to always max out the coal first. It does you know more damage at um, level three, but the stun difference between level three and four is point three. Like to me, it's I don't know. I never like to max out one first. Like I Wait. guess you could say you know the point three stun, but I prefer the just the coal for the extra mana burn. No, I you're wrong. I think you're, that's just not okay. Tempest is actually in some trouble right here. There's the reflection opener. The Burning Shadow is going to hold him down for two and a half seconds. Goal comes out as well. Glacius is actually going to die right here. He's going to get counter kill. Um, and Fade's actually going to take a lot of trouble as well in the top lane. I'm <laughs> trying to get some last hits. But, uh, yeah, you're you're wrong there. Like, you have to level up that Burning Shadows. Like, a two and a half second stun? Yeah, but it's a 2.2 .2 before that. It's 0.3. Which is still gigantic. No. Like, 2.2 yes. .2 is still gigantic. You don't need... You don't need 2.5. Immediate. Get the extra, like, 40 mana burn? Yeah, I don't... Oh, don't Wrath like the of the Pharaoh goes out here on the fade in the middle lane. Wall Mummies goes up, and there's the Burning Shadows. Deep Shadows, and she will be able to escape. I don't like how both those words have shadows in them. I don't like it, Porch. It happens. To the best of us. Does it? No, just to you. Alright. <laughs> um, anyways, back to the game. Uh, I don't know, I Legion side's looking really strong. Um, Fade is, you know, dangerous, but I mean, we got three deaths on Fade right now. Like, she was supposed to be like their free farmer, their killer. And Tempest has just done a great job getting bottom, getting kills. Um, meanwhile, you know, top electrician hasn't had such difficulties. He's sitting at the top farmer in the game. They're pushing the tower top, and I mean, they're sitting pretty right now. They're sitting pretty indeed. And Lion's actually looking to maybe set up a kill here in the middle lane. They do bring down the tower in the top lane. Kill going to Krebson. And uh, 407 gold per minute. You just brought up that he is the top farmer in the game. That's a big electrician. And that's one of those heroes that, especially with the kind of team that the, the Hellborn has, a very bursty, magic damage-oriented team centered around the Pebbles, the Bombardier, the Fade. It's going to be hard to bring down this electrician as Tempest, or in the bottom lane. Silhouette's actually in a lot of trouble here. Stalagmites get... No! Do not get juked! There's the Burning Shadows and the Cole to finish her off. Nox brings home that kill, but a hasted Pharaoh going to be coming in. And Yoda Savan, you're trapped. There's the grip going off as well as the Aurora. And, well, will they be able to bring him down here? Chuck back, but it does go down in the end. And drama looking well, for if he gets vision, he can uh, Pharaoh back in. Not going to go uh. in just yet. I feel like even using the Judgment to send Fade home. And, uh, well, Nox gets a free trip back. Yeah, no, uh, he's going to snowball really well on Krebson. And the other thing um, that I don't know if I mentioned or if everyone knows, but if you throw 
the sticky bomb on people, you can actually purge it with uh, electrician's all. Wait, what can you purge? You can purge the sticky bomb from oh. Bombardier and all the little ones. And the boom vests, yes. That is true. So the electrician's actually being locked down here in the bottom lane. And here comes the stalagmites. Electrician in some serious trouble. Gets chucked back. And the sticky bomb on him. Whoa! There is this a swap coming out. Andromeda gonna go down. So will Electrician though, so Seal Kid, not sure about that swamp. I like the idea. But uh, in the end, just ended up giving up two kills instead of one. And <laughs> Fade's gonna help clear up some creeps there. This bottom tower gonna be going down very, very easily. Legion team instead gonna try to trade mid, but Lions, a lot of their early lead with uh, a couple of kills right there, coming back a bit. Yeah, I think they just stayed a little too long. Um, just good good play by how one team getting there and uh, making the kills. But Tempest almost, no, Tempest does have Blink now. Um, and I, I mean, they're, they're gonna be looking to push in a little more team fight now and have a much bigger advantage when they do. Yeah. They, As Fade's looking here, middle. Yeah, level 11 Fade. Ooh. Oh, walked right by that tower, though. Meteor going to spot him out. And where are the Rev Wards? we got one Rev Ward here on Andromeda. Uh, they're Drop actually going to be... Drop it. Ooh. Drop it. Legion team all coming into the jungle right now. And this could be a real big team fight. There's the Wrath of Pharaoh. On to Glacius. Not even going to use the wall of mummies. The static grip comes out. Nova will go down. This is fourth death in this game. Word of Revelation finally dropped, but did not find Fade. Bus was spotted too late. <laughs> Gotta love the bus drivers. Uh, it looked like Super KG driving that bus. Mm -hmm. Fade going on Pharaoh up in the top lane. There's the Burning Shadows. Cole comes out. Not even doing half of his life, though. <laughs> Fade going for the Hellflower first. What are your thoughts on picking that up instead of uh, maybe something a little bit more common? Um, if he can get it quick, which, I mean, he should because he was, you know, free farming their bottom. Oh, it's a kill middle on Seal Kid. <laughs> oh, I was just like completely randomly watching that and I see Pebbles fly in and just <laughs> combo Seal Kid. Poor guy. Uh, well... Pharaoh. Yeah. Oh, Bombard, you're all going to be used right there. I don't know about that one, Style. Oh, they're yeah. looking to finish it up with Pebbles. Oh, yeah, He's on the side are. and Fade Vision. And Fade, yeah, does have clear vision. There's the Chuck. Beautiful, almost oh. like Mike. <laughs> There's the opener, and, well, Fade definitely going to be going down here. Uh, well, no. hold on a second. Burning Shadows. There's the, oh, Cleansing Shock and the Electric Absorption right there do bring him down eventually. Even the Ophelia heal being used. The stalagmites, I almost thought that was going to be the coolest stalagmites ever. Like, just the best pebbles play I've ever seen. Uh, but yeah. then it missed, and then everyone died. Yeah, those are difficult to get off the, when really you chuck hard. at somebody else and you throw stalagmites. Because that other hero's going to move. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Almost. Almost happened there for Jonas, but not quite. Portal Key is being shown off. Pebbles and Tempest both picking one up. Krebson going for the extremely tanky route here on Electrician. Not going to be having a huge amount of mobility or damage just yet, but uh, very, very tanky. 1,400 life with that uh, Shaman's Headdress and the uh, Energy Shield. Definitely going to be very hard to bring down. Yeah, for sure. And if he keeps his up, I mean, this Snowball is going to be hard for them to coordinate the kills on them with... You know, having to also worry about Pharaoh ulting into Disrupt and Tempest ults. Because um, if, because that's what they're going to focus on, getting rid of the Tempest ult um, and positioning for Pharaoh and everything. Meanwhile, Electrician's just going to plow, like, as they're getting to the tower here in the middle. Oh, Pharaoh needs to be careful, as does Andromeda. Actually, Andro getting caught out right here. Slagmite's in the combo. Andro goes down. Jonas, some fans. Serial killer streak. 4 2 and 2. Fade once again. Invis looking for a kill, looking for a pickoff, looking for initiation. Meteor goes down, though, and Fade might have been spotted right there. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, this is a smart play, regardless, because you know the only way Fade can hide is in the in the brush. So just oh, get, get rid You're of it. You're in trouble. Slagmite's being dodged right there. Silhouette trying to go around the other way. Man's up. Style says, none of that, baby boy. Drops him with a couple of boom dusts. Yeah. 
And QSQ is just playing this fantastic right now through the mid game to R and in top lane, Electrician actually in some serious trouble. There's the glacial downpour gonna be coming in and so fake back and up, but look at the tank that's coming out right here. And the response is coming. Pharaoh is available right now. Is he gonna be going in? There's the wrath of the Pharaoh and the auto attacks do finish him off. He will go down. Jonas and Fan gets the kill on the seal kid in the middle lane. So in the end trading one for one, but Knox by far the more valuable player right there. Yeah, I mean you saw it. Like <laughs> they they burned all his mana. They were Glacius ulting him and just auto attacking him and he didn't care. He's just you know, just hanging out. Like, like what's up guys? <laughs> I could just hear like on the command center, they're like your your evac is uh, ETA forty five seconds. <laughs> Electrician's just like, yeah, I can, I can hold out till then. <laughs> like, not a problem. I got this. Hold no on problem. a second. I might not even need that, guys. Like, I'm gonna just try to kill him on my own. But if you guys get here, I mean, that that'll work. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, he's Armageddon proof right now. Uh, at this point in the game, he's just looking to steamroll. Yeah, he certainly is now. What do you think he should be going from here on out? He's already got that super, super tank. Should he go for Barry Allen and try to get more tanky, a larger mana pool, or maybe some damage or mobility? To be honest, I'd like to see him go, um, since he, he just completed boots. Ooh. Nice kill there on Silhouette. Pebbles gonna need to get away. Does have a push stick available, pushes out, uh, but walks right back in. There's the Wrath of the Pharaoh coming out as well. Chuck away, and we'll have the portal key available in a couple seconds there. There's the PK. Doesn't have enough mana for the TP, though, and Jonas should still be in some serious trouble. There's the swap coming in. Comet's done as well, and the auto attacks finish him off. Is in the top lane. Krebson goes down. Getting caught out by three Hellborn players. So, damn, there's a lot of action in this game. Very even game, Porch. Yeah, for sure. Handskin, though, is a little far without any vision up there in, in their jungle. Um, oh, it's Fade goes bottom. DD opens with the reflection. There's the burning shadows. The call, no mana left. Deep shadows as well. And two more auto attacks will finish this off. Looking for one more there on Super KGE. Oh, no! Nox got juked by a uh, non juke. Oh, my. <laughs> he juked himself there and got fogged pretty hard. Yeah. Top lane does go down there. Like, just was trying to prevent the push. Not quite able to. Grip onto one of the Minotaurs, though. Get that Minotaur. Ophelia's going to have to send it home. Um, nope, not going to send it home just yet. In fact, Electrician's still just manning up. He just does not care. He's, he's, <laughs> he's a little honey badger. Yeah, that little honey badger. I, I, And to answer your question, I like to see him go some sort of damage. Um, you know, whether it's Hellflower or, or Sheep, actually, like a Disable. But he is going very idle route. Um... Which, I mean, it can help this team, but I think verse engagement teams, or I don't, initiator teams, I don't know how to call it. Um, with Fade, you got Pebbles, you got oh. Bomb. Pharaoh getting open on Pharaoh. here, the reflection, there's the Pebbles combo as well. And Jonas, some fan, brings it down, Super KGE, the Golden Emperor. Well, he's going to get a little bit tarnished by all the blood that's coming out of his face now. Anyways, as I was saying, um, for teams right. like that... <laughs> I mean, I don't value Barry Idol as much as uh, as maybe some others, but initially, like, they're going to jump in usually before he's able to use it. Like, the team members they're going to jump on is going to be, you know, um, Funsmeister, Seal Kid, um, Tempest. They're going to try to burn a Squishy, and I just don't think having a Barrier Idol on your tankiest player really gets that help unless, you know, they're just pushing together and he uses it extremely early in which Hellborn just has to wait it out. So it's not one of my favorite pickups, but I mean, yeah, I mean we'll see if it comes into play here. There's also something to be said about this team is pure magic damage. Like, yes. Fade, Pebbles, and uh, Bombardier are definitely pure magic damage. I think it's an item that you're going to need eventually. Um, but I agree with you, not necessarily needed to be picking up this early on. Um, I just help prefer out. to see them picking up BKBs and him getting a more aggressive build. Hmm. All right, just my personal thing: take it or leave it, beef. Take it or leave it. Well, I, I'm gonna take it. I'm just gonna slightly disagree with it, amend it even. Don't amend my constitution. All right.
So, Sheepstick was just finished up on style, so going for the mobility route with the Ghost Marchers into a uh, Tablet of Command and then a Sheepstick. So, holy crap, has he actually recovered? Top farmer in the game. Style is a phenomenal player. Yeah, I don't know how he did it. I wasn't watching. I have no idea, really. Um, I guess they were jungling with him and using the Sticky Bomb. Like... I don't think so. That's impressive. I gotta go back and watch this one. I, I, I completely forgot about Bombardier because I'm like, oh, he's screwed top. Like, Well, he's just done such a good job of flying under the radar until he just comes out and he's like, hey guys, I'm 400 GPM. Like, here's my sheep stick. Enjoy. It's just, it's incredible. So, huge shout out to Style. I mean, 16 years old, no prior competitive experience. And Fade actually just walked right by a Word of Revelation. Um, needs to be very, very careful here. They have an eye. Do they have an eye? No. They have an eye on Fade. Fade has an eye. So he wants to go on Tempest right now and might look for the opener. Has 10 seconds left and uh, ooh, do, 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 Fade, what are you doing? Trying to find a kill. I understand that, but okay. Legion team actually going to dodge that bullet. Yeah, I think with Pharaoh it's kind of Oh, hard. there's the Wrath of the Pharaoh oh. coming in. Tundra Blast as well. And Fade takes the Ice Imprisonment. Well, hold on a second. Fade is in some serious trouble. A second push stick to be able to get him away for now. There's the style Bombardier ultimate coming in. And Elemental Void catching two players right there. Bombardier and Glacius still inside. Glacius will go down. Comet's done out onto Bombardier as well. And Style will take the fall. Devils needs to get out of there. Does have a portal key available. Actually going to get sent home by Ophelia right here. Going to try to combo down Andromeda as he gets sent back. Um, in the end, yeah, I actually want to say that Magnabox pointed that out right there. It did look like one of those two players. Yes. I'm not sure if it was Glacius or Bombardier. But one of those two did get chucked into Tempest Ultimate. Yeah, it looked like Bomb. Uh, the Tempest Ultimate was just a whiff at the start. And I think Glacier's I saw in. a swap in from Seal Kid. <laughs> oh, okay. If I saw right, and then there was a chuck in of another player. It was, but Glacius and Style ended up getting caught in the ultimate that was originally a miss. Yeah, that was just a ridiculous team fight, like all around. Like that was so sloppy, like <laughs> from both of the teams, really. Um, yeah. After they had caught Fade, I mean, they had just, like, clumped up in a pile in the middle, and it, it looked really bad at first, but somehow they were able to to reposition themselves and turn the fight around. Uh, QSQ, I guess, was just so split that they couldn't turn and make a full engagement. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate there. And now Kongor going to be attempted by the QSQ squad. Minotaur out in front tanking. But, uh, yeah, I mean... Fade getting caught out right there, and then getting pushed multiple times to get away from the Pharaoh eventually. Was able to survive. But yeah, just it just looked like a sloppy team fight from both sides. A little bit unfortunate. Conger will no longer be attempted as actually Pebbles is in some serious trouble. Glacial Blast right on top of the Ward of Revelation. The Wall Mummy's going to be going out as well, pushing him away a bit. He's going to be able to get out of there eventually. But there's the Wrath of the Pharaoh coming in. Sheep stick onto Pharaoh, though. And, well, Pebbles will go down here momentarily. The Barry Idol saving Pharaoh right there from the Bombardier Ultimate. And Andromeda can be just fine as well. Fade taking the Glacial Blast gets pushed away. But is he going to be able to escape? Death Lotus finishes him off. Lens might just picked up that kill. And Lions with a two for nothing right there. Both initiators dead on the Hellborn team. Looks like they might be in for a, a push right here. Oh, Glacius, kind of, kind of far up. I don't know if you saw it. Uh, Pharaoh was really low. Looked like he was going down. Mm -hmm. um, just like I said, Electrician perched off the Sticky Bomb like almost immediately. And used the Barrier Idol to save him from the bomb hole. Yeah, yeah, the Barrier Idol. Way to go. <laughs> Overall, Lions definitely uh, looking strong in that team fight. Perhaps some serious overextension there from Q Squad three five seven. And they're going to be looking to push down this bottom tower. It's going to just get a little bit of backdoor going on that one. Flensmeister at 250 gold per minute right now. 
on Silhouette. He's He's been recovering a bit, but has not had nearly the time that Style has. His couple TPs are going to come in right here. Uh, Pebbles is actually going to go in, though. And Pebbles needs to be pushed out of there. Gets pushed out. Velvet to Void going off catching nobody. Bombardier, though, is going to get caught out. He does go down, and I have to really question USQ going right there. He's going to try to buy something and will find Andromeda. Going to get the chuck off here momentarily. Zeal Kid goes down. Pebbles maybe in some trouble as well. Portal Key coming out from Tempest. Going to allow him to TP on out of there. Push stick over the wall of mummies and still going to be trying to run down Pharaoh. There's the Burning Shadows opener. The Coal and the Hellflower are being applied as well. Electrician is still in there. And, well, Pebbles is going on Electrician. I don't know about that. Uh, yeah, Pharaoh Well, they sort of have a down. guaranteed kill with Pharaoh. Well, well, actually, Chuck and Electrician back here. There's the Ice Imprisonment. And will Electrician actually survive right here? Push stick up on Ophelia. But, I mean, what are they going to do to kill him? Nothing. Like I said, he's just kind of, like, they have to target all the other people and then worry about him. But in the meanwhile, like, I feel he can just steamroll. So that's why, I like, the aggressive item pick up. But... The Barrier Idol did so much work. Barrier Way to go, Beef. The Barrier Idol was a pretty good pickup. Like, it's it's helped out a lot. I, I agree with you, like, to an extent, that it's not completely necessary because they're not a push-oriented team. That's, like, the number one priority is TPs are coming in here. Pebble's actually going to combo down Seal Kid. Misses the combo, though, and in the front lines. Notice some fan takes the fall. Fade in the ultimate once again, looking for a kill, but... Uh, no portal key on Fade. Not going to be able to just get in and out of those ganks real easy like. And so, man, trying to trade your pebbles for an Andromeda, I mean, that's just... If you get the Andromeda and you get out of there, that's great, but he was never going to get out of there. Yeah. And Legion side just has such a stronger team fight team. Like, so much stronger. And Hellboy team has, like, really good ganks, and that's why they were able to start to come back up for a little, but... As this gets later and later, it's it's looking grim. Fade actually going to open on a Tempest. There's the Bombardier Ultimate, and Hanskin will go down. Fade needs to use the Deep Shadows to actually get out of there, but he's going to run right by Andromeda. And, well, there's Silhouette as well. Swap comes in. There's the Grip. Comet stuns Zakin. Krebson brings home that kill. Krebson 7, 1, and 7. 423 gold per minute. Uh, picks up a Storm Spirit, actually to gain some mobility and mana regen. Just going completely de defensive route, keep everyone alive and, um, I mean, it's really good. More mana on him, the better, because he's tanky and then you can't hit him through electric shield. Um, just go electrician. Way to go, dude. Go you proved me wrong again and again. There you go. Electrician indeed is. Silhouette's actually going to put some auto attacks into Pebbles in the bottom lane. Flensmeister feeling awful confident finishing up that 33 minute Nullstone. So, glad that she has that. Going to be able to use that to get some farm going. And, uh, well, once she breaks that 300 GPM barrier, going to be uh, starting to put out some serious damage in team fights and getting the levels close to level 16. So, that's going to be nice for her level 3 ultimate. Yeah. Now that she's got that extremely late no stone, she can farm. Wow. Porch. It is it is pretty late. I, well, he got, yeah, he got manhandled early. He, he did, but... Is that bad manners of me? No, no like, need to be so aggressive, Porch. Aggressive. I told you my item pickups are aggressive. My my thoughts are aggressive. Just aggressive. Per now I'm scared to hang out with you at the land. Thank God. I was wondering how I'd get that back. There you go. You just, you just like being feared. <laughs> I like the uncertainty of, of how mysterious and... I'm going to have to talk to Doberman and be like, what's up with this porch kid? Yo, know, Doberman is just going to tell you about how he looks like a movie star or something like that when you talk to him. All right, I promise awesome. you. It's awkward. Shrunken head picked up here on Tempest. And uh, Fade trying to skirt the Ward of Revelation that she has seen. Uh, silhouette with that null stone not so vulnerable anymore. I mean, the really the only person that can actually be picked off here is Andromeda, um, and well, Andro might be in some trouble momentarily, but no, gonna be okay for now. Invisible Pebbles gonna be making his way up as well, and 
Looks like they're trying to set something up here, but Electrician out in front. There's the opener onto Electrician. The Cole gonna be coming in as well as, there's a three-man element to avoid right there. Catching a lot of players. Raptor Pharaoh comes in as well. He's gonna be using the wall of Mummy's pushing Fade away. In the back though, Seal Kid actually gonna be getting taken out by Jonas and Fan, but they turn it around. Jonas and Fan is actually the one that's gonna be going down. Seal Kid going to escape, and everybody actually gonna be coming back in right there. The boat to concede comes up, and the Hellborn team, QSQ just gives it up. Saying, okay, yeah, that's that did not work out. And I mean, really, what the heck happened to that game? QSQ, I thought they were they had a really nice team. Like I said, it's it's just really pickoff oriented in gank. Uh, as soon as it came to team fight time, Legion team just they're they're tanky. They got electrician, you got Pharaoh, um, and your wonderful barrier idol. Uh, Tempest ultimates to deal with. It's it's just really hard to overcome when you pick lineups like that. Um, you know, I've tried to run them, but it's it's you have to be like really coordinated all the time, like making tons of pickoffs and just kind of keep everyone down. Yeah, you certainly do have to be quite coordinated. All right, Porch, here's the deal. I like deals. I'm going to be going into SG versus TDM right now. Oh, yeah? It's a game that's already started, though. Oh. So I'm going to have to abandon you for now. Dang it. All right. I'll bring, good. I'll bring you back when we get into a new game, though. All right. Let me know. I'll be around. All right. Porch, do you have any shout-outs before we do let you go to move on to the next game? Um, Shout-out to you people watching. All right. And bottom, Por Porch of do And what? My, my brother plays, and he sits right next to me. And he's okay. watching, and he was like, and he's like, any shadows? He's like, Bottom. And that's his character name. All right. That's... So everyone, when you see Bottom, like, it's Porch's brother. Talk shit. All right. Porch, thanks for being here, everybody. <laughs> Porch of Dober on Damp. Make sure to check him out in Han Tour next cycle. Once again, going to be in Diamond. And Porch, we'll catch you in a few games. All right. Adios. All right, guys, so like I said, we're going to be going into SG versus TDM right now, a game already in progress, and, uh, well, I'm going to try to get that one set up momentarily here. Just going to do a quick cut, though. So this has been Complexity Casting with me, your casting host, Beef, and Porch of Dober on Damp. Thanks for watching, and, of course, a huge shout-out to Complexity Gaming for sponsoring Colecast and making sure that we are able to bring you with, well, as much good Han content as possible. Make sure to check them out at complexitygaming.com where Sound Blaster has released the fourth invite into the Sound Blaster Heroes League. Check that out. The post is up right now on the front page. Go read up all about QSQ357, Nova, and the boys. Of course, over at complexitygaming.com. And a shout out to the sponsors QPad, Pete, and Y Origin, Sound Blaster, Twitch, and G8 Brand. Guys, we'll be right back with SG versus TDM.